Hi guys, welcome to the Fight Tonight channel. The Abima Lopez seems to be consolidating as the next choice for Ryan Garcia after Gervonta Davis didn't accept King Ryan's challenge. However, the fight against Teofimo Lopez looks like a great bow at a 130 pounds division, since the winner will be well positioned to challenge Tank, and both Latin American fighters are interested in heating up the bow to make it happen. This time it was the fighter of Gandharan region, who took it upon himself to launch strident statements against his next opponent. My main goal for next year is to be undisputed champion in another division, and his presence in hindering me, said Afima Lopez. These people like Barbosa or Ryan Garcia are just getting in my way of being champion. Garcia brings nothing to the table but the fans said Teofimo Lopez. Promising American lightweight Ryan Garcia continues to insist that his compatriot, the WBA regular title holder in the same weight category, Gervonta Davis, signed a contract for their fight. Ryan wrote about this. Gervonta has to sign this contract. Maybe he can't find a pen? He understands that the night is near, during which reality will overtake him. Fate meets reality. Ryan also recalled a conflict with Davies in one of the nightclubs. I should be terrified of all this street nonsense. Come on, do whatever you want. I'll leave the truth. Do you want my chain? I don't care. I would rather kick your ass in the ring and buy myself another chain. So spit on me with your street shit as much as you want. I just want to beat you, Garcia wrote. Absolute lightweight world champion Devin Haney believes that if he wins a rematch with George Cambosos, he will fight with Gervonta Davis. You know that Davis is not fighting with anyone. He doesn't want to fight anyone and this has been happening for some time. To be honest, I don't know much about Jermaine Ortiz, Devin Haney said in an interview. Clearly, the Gandharan rooted fighter is emboldened after his seventh round account of Mexican Pedro Campa following a loss in the first defense as Yanifid lightweight champion to George Cambosos in November last year. I understand that many say it will be a very big purse, but that doesn't worry me too much. In the end, the money comes on its own. I want Josh Taylor because he has a belt. Hopefully, in a week he is already in the rankings as his mandatory, said Lopez, title shot for Teofima and Ryan Garcia. Meanwhile, Ryan Garcia is still looking for a title shot. As such, Teofimo talked about the possibility of fighting Ryan Garcia while an opportunity opens up for either of them. On the one hand, Josh Taylor became universal super lightweight champion, but in the recent months he vacated the WBA, IBF and WBC belts. In the case of the WBA title, it already has an owner, the Dominican Alberto Pulo, while IBF and WBC will be disputed in the respective mandatory fights, one of them between Regis Progres and Jose Zepeda for the dispute of the WBC belt. The best option for Teofimo Lopez and King Ryan at the moment is to fight each other. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please. Subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 3000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard, absolutely every day, and I need your support. Your likes, comments, repost to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. The head of the top ranked promotion company Bob Arum explained why the fight between the Americans WBA regular champion in the lightweight division Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia will not take place. I doubt the fans will see this fight. It's true. Even though this is a very good confrontation, every guy is valuable to his promotion company. It's very, very difficult to get a promoter to enter into a risky deal, unless the reward is really big. In this fight, I don't see much reward. Look at Floyd Mayweather's career. He was really pleased that he took weak opponents and built big fights on their victories. In this way, Floyd earned a lot of money. As I believe, this is the main plan of my Weather promotions for Gervonta Davis. There is nothing wrong with that. So I doubt that my Weather's company will now put their boxer under such an opponent as Ryan Garcia. We need to be sure of his victory at this stage of his career. 
Aram said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.